Hello YouTube. Uh, thanks for coming to my channel. Before I start, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the people on other channels I've listed below on my channel. A couple of cool guys in there making cool videos. Uh, if you've been watching for a while, I'm on my new channel. I'm not trying to compete anybody. I'm just doing whatever I do. Plus, and I like you know how people share what they got. So I have something to share. I, if anybody has watched my channel, you'll know I, I'm a, an addicted and add a vice grip addict. So you know this is. These are Irwin Vice Grips. These are Milwaukee. I honestly think these are around 20 bucks. These are around 20 bucks. They're a good thing. So, and people are asking a lot about locking clamp pliers. Like, I, I went out and bought one of these. I think they're Tractor Supply, Olympia. They're made, uh, I think they're $11.99. They had, what's, what was this? They had a no name brand one, which. This is a Job Smart. These are these were five ninety nine. They had another one. Where was it? Oh yeah, Job Smart. Another another pack here. These are seven ninety nine. A tractor supply. I also picked up a set of Mastercraft here in Canada. We have Mastercraft. They are these are what do you call it? Uh, these are almost 30 bucks Canadian, so I don't know what that would be in American. There's that one. I also picked up a Horror Freight brand. They have the Bremen. Bremen, Bremen. These, I think, were eleven ninety nine 99 at Horror Freight. I picked up two of them, two of the different ones, these, because I want to see the difference. I also picked up the generic Horror Freight Pittsburgh one, which... I noticed our, these are what, 11 bucks? So, I mean, if you're doing welding or any type of clamping, you have all sorts of choices. I also ordered <coughs> two other brands I'm gonna see. I ordered a Stanley Proto. I am ordering a grip on, and by the time this video, this video gets to it, I'm gonna have another video. I wanna see what the difference is and compare them all. I know these cheap ones are like, I gotta write which ones are what on here, but see. By looking at some of them, you can kind of tell maybe who makes them. Because, I mean, you look at this Bremen one, and it has the, you know, the pin marks that kind of look like, they kind of look like Vice Grip or Irwin's throwing some El Cheapo in there. You also got Mastercraft that look exactly like Vice Grip. Don't have a thing in here. They got some differences in here. The pins are all in the same place. It's got that little notch like they forgot to take it out. Mill, I don't know who's making them for Milwaukee, but the Milwaukee ones look like they're pinned the same way as the Irwin ones, is the same way as the Mastercraft ones. And so are these top-notch Bremen ones. These ones have a, a rivet in here. I haven't taken them out yet. Let me uh, cut them open here. I'll show you. Let me get a knife. Of course I have a knife. There we go. Let me cut these open. So these are El Cheapo ones. But what I'm going to be doing is put them, these are the tractor supply ones. Right here. I'm looking at. I should put a note on. See, these are tractor supply ones. They're, I mean, look, they, they clamp pretty damn good. With it. Magnet, anyway. One of the biggest problems with the clamping is some of these freaking things is when you clamp them, they bend sideways. These ones don't bend. Believe it or not, for $5.99, if you take these ones and you compare them to, what do you call it? The standard? I, I, I would consider Vice Grip, a, they were at one time the gold standard of Vice Grip. It's not made in China, so I don't know about that. But they're pretty damn good. You know, 10 bucks. <clears throat> $5.99, I mean. These ones, the El Cheapo ones, they don't feel as nice. They don't like, you know, they don't feel as great. But look, put them on here, and you clamp them on. They have a kind of a flimsiness to them. So, I mean, when you clamp them on here, the this part bends out just a little. Whereas this one, does it bend out? Yeah, it bent a little. What about vice grip ones? Let's try the vice grip ones. I'm going to make a video and test all of them. When I say all of them, I mean all of them. This is going to be like... The vice grip ones stay a little straight. These two bend a little. Uh, what's this? The Pittsburgh ones? 
Pittsburgh clamps. Let's see. Let me tell you how the Pittsburgh ones feel. Pittsburgh ones, these Pittsburgh ones actually feel pretty good. They don't have a shitty feel to them. Honestly, the Pittsburgh one stays straighter than the Vice Grip one. So, here, let's try a Milwaukee one now. Milwaukee clamp. Milwaukee feel like they got beef to it. The only thing... Let's see. The Milwaukee ones stay... I mean, they might already be bent. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, the Milwaukee ones are already a bit crooked to begin with. So, yeah. Let me see. Yeah, the Milwaukee ones stay straight, too. All right. Let me cut these out of here. Let's see how these ones go. So look. See, these ones are Mastercraft. These ones got a rubber pad on them. I don't really like rubber pads because... How long is rubber going to last? Rubber is or plastic. It is... These ones kind of kink out just a little. These are the Bremen ones. Bremen, Bremen. I don't know. I'll try to pop this off here. We got a six minute video here. Going on. Yeah. Come on. Holy crap here. Yeah. Come on. Out of the box. Took them out of the package. This is the higher end Harbor Freight ones. Just a slight little wobble there. And yeah, we'll try these ones too, the flat ones. Yeah, here we go. These are the Horror Freight ones. Horror Freight. <laughs> See, there are. Yeah, just a little kink, a little kink. These ones, the, believe it or not, the vice grip ones go out sideways. This one go out sideways. The worst ones are these cheap tractor supply ones. The Pittsburgh ones are like dead on. They don't, they don't look as like this is thinner. See, the Pittsburgh ones are really, fl this is really flimsy. The Harbor Freight ones are nice and thick. These are nice and thick. These are nice and thick. The Job Smart one is really thin. See, if you look on here, there's a beef beef thin mm, kind of thin kind of thin beefy beefy and beefy now i'm guessing even if i show you the cheap job smart one it's gonna be the same damn thing so here let's go like this let's show you let's show you the other job smart ones let's rip this open without losing a hand let's see these are all cheap ones Job smart ones. Does it say it on there? Even, there's not even a name on it. So, wait, these are, yeah, job smart. Yeah. So, the job smart ones. Yeah, they stay straight. From the best I can tell, is that <clears throat> from the, honestly, I mean, if you're, in my honest opinion about these, right, just off the bat, I'm waiting for more. I'm going to give an opinion on all of them, is that the Vice Grip, the, believe it or not, the Harbor Freight Bremen ones are thick as hell. The Milwaukee, I would say, are, like, kick-ass. Like, these are thick. The Vice Grip have thick handles here. These have thick handles. Thick handles. And the rest of these, they kind of skimped out right here. The Mastercraft ones are, eh. I'll probably get calipers and check them all, but that's, you know, what's going on here. When it comes to actually using them, <clears throat> I would say take the, you know, look at this. This one's completely bent here. I would say I'll probably use these and burn them up welding. I mean, $5.99, who, who the hell is going to care? Uh, Mastercraft, these are wicked. For, for the amount of money, I, I wouldn't buy Mastercraft ones. I'd... Uh, in Canada, probably buy Vice Grip, same price. The Harbor Freight Bremen brand, I give them, a, I give them a thumbs up. I mean, I would say they're right up there with Vice Grip. But then again, if you look at the Harbor Freight ones and the Vice Grip brand ones, I wouldn't doubt if these were made by Vice Grip. Which is, I mean, they even got, they even got a better pin in here. They got the little Allen key thing. That doesn't have it. They got the little pin in here. And they're almost the same damn thing. 
except for the little notch. So even these ones, I mean, look at them. They're like the exact, exact same dimensions. In fact, these are probably <clears throat> the Harbor Freight Bremen ones are actually the top ones are a little bigger. So yeah. I'm going to do, like I said, I'm doing another video, a comparison of them all. I'll clamp them to stuff and see what goes on. But yeah, these ones, Tractor Supply, Olympia Tools. I would use these just for freaking burn them up in welding. What, $7.99 or $11 or whatever the hell they are? Burn them in welding. They are the, the cheapest ones. This one too, the uh, Pittsburgh ones. Yeah, use them for welding. But even then, the Pittsburgh brand ones... Even though they, you know, they're not as beefy as the, that we call it, the um, horror freight ones, I would say they're pretty damn good. I mean, they're not, like, they're not as well built as their what, 11 dollars cousins or 15 I don't know, I think they're 11 bucks. But they're pretty, like I say, I, I, I have to say, the Harbor Freight ones are pretty cool. My favorites are... These days are Milwaukee and still Vice Grips. I might change my mind soon and buy some of these Bremen ones just for the hell of it. Because I, I usually have four of each. Right now I think I have five of these and I don't know how many Vice Grip brand ones I have, but I have a lot of them. So anyway, that's just a look at one thing I'm, I've am i done. You probably think I'm nuts. Yeah, I got all these grips, but you know what? That's what I do. I buy tools and I use them. These, these things especially, you'll see them if I'm doing anything... You'll see one of these in almost everything I do. Almost every single thing I do, I, I will use one of these guaranteed. Or a smaller one. Other than that, like, subscribe. And you will see part two of this video in probably in a month or so. After I post this one up. So, thanks for watching. Bye.